first off the bat, uh, Bob, oh. we're watching video of you saving this woman. Are you guys okay? That's the most important thing. Are both of you yeah. okay? Yeah, we are. Uh, yeah, she, she, we, we put her in the car. Uh, she was cold. I gave her my shirt. She, uh, her husband's going to pick her up. The, the, uh, the fire truck came. Uh, they're good. Everyone's good. So let's get back to it. It was this I'm, car I'm right over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. No, no. We're watching. Don't, do, hey, do not go. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Don't, We're still don't watching go down video. This way. By the way, if you're if you're just joining us, this is video don't from earlier. You're hearing Bob's live mic. Because, uh, of course, yeah. this is an active situation, but you're watching right. video of what happened. Now we're back live. So, Bob, we have your is that, live is that camera. Your right there? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can keep the shirt. It's all good. Oh, it must be her husband. Right, she, so, he said her husband was coming. No, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So, here you go, you guys. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure out what's going no, on. No, that's okay. Take yeah, your time, the, Bob. For viewers that are just joining us, department's gone. we'll give Bob a second to catch his breath. Um, for viewers that are just no, joining us, we're Bob good. literally just saved a woman from flood water. She drove into it. Bob, now that you've sort of had a second, because this is a very active Look, situation, you have first responders. Bob, we're going to pass it off to you. Reunited. There you go. Yeah, you guys reunited. All right, good. You're good. you good. Yeah, don't. Yeah, man. Hey, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. Of course. Anytime. I'll do it again. Thank um, you. Don't go that way. <laughs> go this way, all right? So, I don't know what's going on there. It's, uh, yeah, it's flooded out. It was up to my chest. So, okay. and I dragged her out. But she's, she's fine. She's just okay. cold. Get her a blanket. You. Yeah, you can keep the shirt. Nah, keep it. It's all yours. <laughs> all right, so this is what's going on, you guys. This is the Peachtree Creek. And we had the video before of all the rescues that were going on. It's about a mile down the way. 60 people rescued from that apartment complex. It's a Peachtree Park apartment complex. And, and Craig, you like this. 12 pets were also rescued, too. Oh. So, yeah, see you guys later. Hey, be safe, all right? Yeah. So, hold on. Say? Bob. Bob. Yeah. Bob, thank you. Yeah, nice thank and you so yeah, absolutely. Anytime. Yeah, I'll do it again. Hey, good luck. All right. So, uh, you got all this water that's down here that's cascading in. This Peachtree Creek, you guys, it, it's almost at a record stage. It's been higher before. It was 23 and a half feet right now. The highest it's ever been has been about 25 feet. That was back in 1919. So if you go over here, you can see just the rushing water effect. It's absolutely insane. So this is where it looks like. This is what we're watching. You go all the way down there about a mile. That's where all those apartment complexes were being evacuated, right, with all the high water rescues. That was before the sun started coming up, so that was in the dark. Now if you look at the raging waters of the Peachtree Creek, I mean, it is just flowing down. You've got some debris in there, too. You can see a little bit of a tree branch going down. I, it's not quite to the bottom of the bridge right there. That's a north side drive bridge, but it is flowing in that direction towards the Chattahoochee. So, yeah, you guys, this is a dangerous situation, obviously. It's what we say in the business, very kinetic. We've got a lot of things that are going on right now, uh, but it looks like everybody's safe at this point, so at least we've got that. Unfortunately, more rain is in the future, like one to two inches worth, you guys. So as that storm pivots around us, you guys have been looking at the radar picture. We've already seen over nine inches of rain in three days. You add to it another one to two, and we're going to probably see more situations like this. You yeah, guys. Bob, we're looking at radar right now, and you can see the back side of this. This is actually the leftover western eye wall of Helene. My concern, Bob, is that over the last hour, what we've noticed on radar is that it's almost like this chunk of the storm got left behind. It's like the trough isn't picking it up, yeah. and now we have this upper-level low that's kind of playing in a dance here. So my concern is we can see the cutoff. It's all the way down by Peachtree City. That, that's the end of it. It's so close to you guys. You guys are so Man. close to reprieve it's, but it's like it's just it, we just can't get movement here no nah, it's just pivoting and the reason why we're actually on the wet side at this point and not the windy side which listen our, our news has definitely changed it went from anticipated multiple power outages to just plain old high water at this point it's because it had so much momentum when it came into the big bend area this thing had a category four strength right 140 mile per hour winds wide that upper level low wasn't steering it for anything. It just kept on going to middle Georgia. Now that it's weakening, it's starting to get caught up in that circulation. It's going to start bending up to the north a little bit farther. It's quick moving, right? Weren't you guys saying it was moving north at like 30 miles per yes. hour? Yes. It's going, to get into, it's going to get into Tennessee later this afternoon. Yeah, and now we're in that dance where everything's kind of congealing. Bob, I, I got to yeah. tell you, uh, for people who are watching who don't know you, you're the guy that people want to hang out with because you're a good guy. You're very humble, and you're probably not going to want to talk about this, but I have to ask you, 
as you heard the woman that you were rescuing now from her car, you go into the waters. What was it like? Because you were tall, and it looked like the water was up to your, pretty close to your chest. You're, You're at least six, feet, six tall. feet tall. Yeah, you could see it. I, the, my, the, well, I was, I was obviously worried about the water temperature, and the water temperature is pretty warm. I, I thought mm. it was going to be cold. It's not. It's probably about 80 degrees. I was worried about that. I was worried about the current. Right. But as soon as I started going there, I was like, screw it. I'm getting her. And unbuckled her seatbelt, yeah. pulled her out, and, and put her on my back. And, and, and she, you know, she's fine. It, it, everything awesome. worked out fine. Bob, Here stay with us. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. But we do want to play a bit of the video so our viewers can see what we're talking about. So stay with us and roll the clip. See right here, we've got this uh, this lady drove into the uh, area that's flooded out, and uh, she's screaming right now. I just called 911. Fire department is coming in, but uh, she drove right into the flood waters. This is the Peachtree Creek, and it is rising at the moment. We've got this thing cresting at about 23 feet. Uh, it's going to go up a little bit more. This, by the way, we had the video of the high water rescues earlier. That was about a mile away from this spot where I am right now. So people are still driving around and seeing all these uh, floodwaters and still going around. The barriers are getting in. So I am patiently waiting for 911 to come. They said the fire department was coming from uh, Atlanta. I'm in North Atlanta right now on the corner of uh, Northside Street, Northside Drive. It's a pretty big populated area right here. Uh, she is still screaming, but we got you. We got you. 911, they're coming. You're good. You're good. Oh, man, it's, it, it's, it's a situation. We will get back to you in a little bit. I'm going to go see if I can help this lady out a little bit more, you guys. I'll be back. Yeah. All right, Bob, Bob oh, so has nice. got to. And then there is Bob carrying her out. Yeah, so for our viewers, a, Bob was a, doing a live shot for Fox and Friends. That's who he was talking to while he was hearing that lady scream in the background. He had already called EMS. He had already called 911. And then this is video of Bob pulling her out. Bob is over six feet tall. He's like 6'4". And you can see that the water is up to his chest no, and he has her on all. her back. <laughs> Bob, let's bring you back into this conversation because you've been, you know, standing no, by. Okay. I can't even imagine. Um, this is your hometown. No, uh, this yeah. is where you live. I'll just give it to you. Uh, I, I could, uh, can you uh, even listen, wrap your I, head I, around it, what it, just happened? Not really. I just know that it, it was taken forever. 911. I mean, 911 is swamped with calls. I, I totally get it. At fire department, the police, the, the ambulance, swamped. And I just, I, I, I couldn't, couldn't wait. I couldn't wait anymore. So I, yeah, I mean, luckily I took the phone and my wallet out of my pants and I just went out there. I'm not that tall. I'm only six foot one. With the shoes, the boots maybe <laughs> okay. six one and a half. Okay, well, I was going to say, yeah, to, no, to me, you feel taller than that. about here? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I hitting your chest, no, it, that's at least, that's at yeah, least four and a half, five feet of water that you were wading through. Yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Bob, have you heard from your family? This is home to you. Have you yeah, checked in with your okay? family? I texted him. I haven't gotten a text back, so okay. I assume that they're still sleeping, <laughs> which is good news. Yeah, um, so yeah, that's the last I want to talk about, you guys. It's it's all I know. good. We'll go I know, weather I know. from here and on out. And you're a very yeah, humble guy. That's I got it. Um, yeah. Obviously, we know Bob yeah. personally, and and we Bob is you. a very humble person. He's not going to want to talk about this, but Bob, of course, as our jobs, we got to show it. So um, hats off we to you. you. Thank you. We love you. We appreciate yeah. you going in there. Of course, we're not surprised. Yeah. You hear a woman crying for help. You're yeah. a dad. Your husband, your brother. Yeah. Uh, good friend. A good oh, yeah. friend. Yeah. So thank you, Bob. Thank you for what you did. Uh, Try and yeah. go get somewhat dry, which I think is impossible at this point. But we're yeah. going to let you and your crew go. You guys need a break. Yeah, you literally just went through this crazy experience. Bob Van Dillon reporting live in Atlanta where he just saved someone's life.